if you want to know how you can make text to emoji in Roblox like this, where if I type a smiley, it's going to make an emoji for it, you're going to have to watch this video all the way to the end to find out exactly how to make this. Hey guys, and welcome back to this brand new tutorial on my YouTube channel, and in this tutorial, I will be showing you how you can make text to emoji in Roblox. So what that means, if you type uh, a smiley face in Roblox uh, in the chat bar, uh, the game will um, change it to a, an emoji, which means your smiley uh, text is going to be turning into a smiley emoji, and that is really cool. Before we start off, big shout out to TigerBlox for giving me the file to make this tutorial possible. It is really cool, man. Thank you so much. And um, if you're new to my channel, make sure to give it a like if you like it. If you don't like this video, give it a dislike. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Turn on that notification bell and make sure to become a member if you want by clicking the blue join button down below. So without further ado, let's get right into the tutorial. So before we start, you need to have the model from the link in the description. Sorry if I sound a bit weird, I have a cold. Anyways, uh, you want to go to view, and then you want to click on toolbox, and as you can see, you'll get this beautiful thing by Roblox, but all you want to do is you want to go to this uh, four boxes at the top, your inventory, you want to click on that, and then when you get the model, it will be right over here, text to emoji by NewbieDerpyDev, so click on that. As you can see, it includes three scripts, but you can simply ignore this. There is no virus or something, so yeah. So after you uh, insert the model, you will see a folder with three other folders. So it's completely simple on what to do. As you can see, replicated storage, and you, do, you, would, uh, you just want to drag that into replicated storage. Now, you, we got these two scripts, and you want to drag those into server script service. And lastly, we got the settings GUI, and you want to drag that into starter GUI. We have to do a little bit of coding, but as you can see, we got this beautiful UI at the top. As you can see, text to emoji. It is really simple, and it's really cool. So the reason you're getting a file is because I am not going to let you guys write all of this, because that is just absurd, and um, it just looks really cool, though. So you can see, you can just completely ignore this script, because um, it's already coded for you. Uh, Target Blocks edited it and Roblox like made the script so yeah you get the point so let's start off by deleting the folder because we don't need that anymore because we got all of our components ready and let's go to server as you can see credits to target blocks tutorial manubi blah 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 so now we need to code this it's pretty simple you just need to get the basics so local replicated storage is equal to game Call on get service replicated storage and let me just zoom in. Local players is equals the game. Call on get service players. So what get service does is um, if you join the game and there is no players, as you can see over here we got players. If that's not there yet, uh, the game will create it immediately for you. Because without a player service, you cannot like play a game, you know. Okay, so now we need a local event. Is equals to get uh, is equals to replicated storage dot emoji status, and let's actually loop it into a wait for child. So wait for child emoji status. So now we need to code it a little bit. So player players dot player added call connect function player local emoji status. So we have a remote event for it. But we're also going to make a bool value for it. So local emoji status is equals to instance.new, a bool value, emoji status that value is equals to false, because it's gonna start like disabled. Emoji status dot name is equals to emoji status. And lastly, emoji status dot parent is in the player. Now we need a click uh, a quick little uh remote event so event dot on server event come on connect function player and all we have to do is player dot emoji status dot value is equals to not player dot emoji status dot value 
So it's basically just this. It's not that much. So what this does, uh, if you enable the switch, uh, it's going to set to true. And if you uh, like switch it to red again, it's going to disable. So now we have one more script to go. It is pretty simple. Uh, go into your settings, GUI, go to main, go to button, and then you'll see client. And you'll see the exact same thing with the script. You can delete it. So let's get to coding. Uh, this script is a little bit longer, but it's not that much. So, all we need to do now is local replicated storage. Is equals to game, colon get service, replicated storage. Local enabled is equals to false. Local event is equals to uh, replicated storage, colon wait for child. Emoji status. Because we really need that emoji status. We, re we really need it. Function change stat of an argument. And then if the argument is equals equals to false. Then uh, we're going to like tween it back to red. But if it is true, we're going to tween it to green. So let's see. If argument. Yep. So script that parent. Call on tween position. Udem 2.new, 2, and watch closely, 0 0.33, comma, 0, comma, 0 0.5, comma, 0, okay? Enum, that easing direction, dot in out, enum, that easing style, the sign, and we're going to take 0 0.3 seconds for that. As you can see, so you should have Udem 2.new the easing direction and the easing style and the time i believe and all we have to do now is event colon fire server because the script will handle the rest now you want to copy this long line copy it else if argument is equals to, equals to true then and my typing is really bad then we're going to do the exact same but all we're going to do is change the 3, 3 to a 6, 7. Alrighty. And all we have to do now again is the exact same event colon fire server. Alrighty. So now a little bit left. It's not that much anymore. So script the parent that mouse button one click. Call connect function. Yep. I love the functions. So if enabled is equals to equals to false. Then... Uh, we're going to set it to true because you're going to enable the thing. Enabled is equals to true. And else if enabled is equals, equals to false. Uh, true, I mean. What? True. Then we're going to change the stat to false because it's true. And then we want to turn it off again. And then enabled is equals to false. Lastly, uh, eight more lines. Event dot on client event called on connect function argument and all we have to do is change stat or oh, well if arg is equals equals to enable then change stat uh, is equals to true and then enabled is equals to true and else we're going to set everything to false again so this should do it. It's a little bit of scripting, but it's not that much. So let's hop in the game and test this out immediately. Alrighty, so as you can see, the switch is off. So as you can see, we can turn it on and off. Can you see that? And on, off, on, off. As you can see, no errors. Well, these are just uh, Roblox errors. So let's try it now, smiley face. As you can see, it, it's just a normal smiley face. Let's turn it on. Boop. And let's try again. Smiley face. And as you can see, it gets transformed into a smiley or an emoji. So let's try uh, C colon. As you can see, we get that blush emoji or emote, whatever it is, emoji. Now let's try it again when, when it's off. So like that. And as you can see, it just turns into a normal text. So let's try, well, I saw a poop emoji, so let's do that, and boom, as you can see, we got a poop emoji on our name now, and it's really cool, so let's try it again with it off, and as you can see, 
now it just get transformed into text. I think this is a really cool addition to roleplay games or anything else. So if you did in fact enjoy this tutorial, make sure to give it a like and subscribe to my channel. If you like this video, give it a like. If you don't like it, give it a dislike. And subscribe to my channel, turn on that notification bell, do whatever you want, become a member. I don't mind anything. Big shout out again to Tigerblocks for giving me the file. Thank you so much. All I can say is that my name is Newbie, and I say peace out.